Hey, it's the Ultimate Handyman. Today, I wanna to share with you how you can lift massive pieces of wood all by yourself using some simple tools from Harbor Freight and some supplies from Home Depot. So the project I'm working on required me to lift two 10 by 10 by 16 foot beams on top of these six by six posts with metal brackets. So to lift these beams, I purchased two one-ton chain hoists from Harbor Freight Tools. These have a 10-foot lifting capacity, and I paid around $64.99 for them. So the next thing I had to do was mount my chain hoists above my posts. So in order to do that, I purchased two 4x4s. They're 8 feet long, and I cut about two and a half feet off of each one and I attach them together in kind of an L configuration like you see in the picture. Now to make this super strong, I mounted two Simpson L brackets on each side sandwiched together and they're screwed in with three and a half inch deck mates. And then in the corner, I put a 90 degree uh, bracket. It's about a quarter inch thick, it's pretty strong with some lag bolts. And then to finish that off, I put a gusset out of some two by four to make it even stronger. I used four half inch lag bolts that were 10 inches long to attach my four by fours to my six by sixes. So this part of the job, I kind of had to manhandle this up there by myself. Um, I used the two holes that are in the steel bracket as my guide holes. I just pre-drilled them ahead of time and then you can see me lagging them in place. Now that the bracket sticks off of the post a couple inches, so I put a spacer block at the bottom and then I pre-drilled the bottom two holes and then I installed the two remaining lag bolts. I wanted to mention that if your post or column is finished and you don't want to see holes drilled through it, what you could do is you can use some heavy duty automotive straps to actually strap the 4x4 to the 6x6. And I would go overboard, maybe use four or five of these heavy straps, and that should do the trick. Also, you can put some uh, blocking in between them or uh, maybe some foam padding just to keep the uh, 4x4 from marring up uh, whatever post or column you have. Um, do this at your own risk. Uh, no guarantee is going to work, but I, I think it would. After I mounted my L brackets, I installed a 4x4 on top of the brackets and I attached them with these Simpson angle brackets using some deckmate screws. I installed two half inch eye bolts through the 4x4s to hold the chain hoists. To attach the chain hoist to the beam, I used two six and a half foot 2,000 pound capacity lifting slings. Um, I got these at Harbor Freight Tools for $9.99. So lifting up this beam with the chain hoist was so easy. It was almost like I was lifting a bag of feathers up there. So once I got the beam to the top of the brackets, I just went up there on a ladder and pulled them over by hand and slowly lowered them into place. And the chain hoist made it so easy to adjust the beam back and forth because when I put the, all the weight of that beam on the brackets, it was really hard to move. I was hitting it with a hammer, but with the chain hoist, I can make those micro adjustments that I needed to get it perfectly into place. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, can you please leave me a like? And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Before you end the video, I wanted to ask you for a huge favor. Can you please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't? I'm trying to get to my next goal of 10,000 subscribers for my channel, and I could really use your help getting there. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on when I post my latest how-to videos. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you the next project. And oh yeah, don't forget to check out my other videos right here.